welcome and I really appreciate you guys taking some time to to talk about this today. Uh, just going to jump right in. Uh, what do you guys see as the industry significance of an event like Photonics West and you know maybe the the benefits of bringing the global community back together and uh, dare I say post pandemic? Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, you know, by the numbers, uh, Photonics West, it's the largest annual exhibit uh, in the industry, both by uh, size and by number of exhibits. Uh, it's also, you know, the largest technical conference in photonics. And this year we're going to have uh, over 4,500 presentations uh, in the program. Uh, and, you know, it's the principal event for industry. So it's also become a launch event. Uh, we have uh, hundreds of new product announcements every year uh, and expect that this year. All right, great. Uh, what are some of the key focus areas this year? Want to take that, Bernard? Or do you want me to take a shot? Um, yeah, you take a shot at the uh, Photonics. Yeah, West, let me take a shot at the uh, uh, AR VR, yep. right? Yeah, because I have an opening for you, right? <laughs> so, uh, the, you know, the thing about Photonics West, it's so vast. Uh, there's literally something for everybody uh, if you're working in optics and photonics. So uh, this year, the technical badge includes our uh, AR, VR, MR event. And uh, Bernard co-chairs that, so I'll give him a moment to describe some of the new things there. Uh, it also includes Quantum West, uh, which is growing uh, substantially. You know, quantum technologies are becoming a bigger part of the photonics portfolio, and this is uh, doubled in size. Uh, and, you know, when you think about the exhibit hall, really provides its own education. Uh, we have both the BIOS exhibit and the AR, VR exhibition, but also this huge uh, Photonics West uh, Hall. So Bernard? Yeah, uh, I double down on the on quantum. Uh, quantum has been touted as the next big thing for the past what thirty years now. But I think uh, I think we're we're very close. I, I remember the the golden days of the optical computing, uh, you know, wave, and that didn't go uh, uh, anywhere. But today, uh, silicon photonics uh, and the new name is a photonic computing is very much linked to quantum and is actually an enabler of uh, quantum uh, computing, not only quantum computing, but also quantum uh, uh, um, communication and quantum sensing, all three uh, aspects of uh, quantum. It's, it's very, very much enabled by um, uh, photonic technologies. Now, on the, the other side, um, there's, there's also a big, uh, a big BIOS, of course, uh, bio, uh, uh, bioimaging uh, uh, and um, uh, aspect, and this is something that uh, I'm uh, historically I'm not very much involved in, but uh, this is a this is a very very important part of uh, of the Photonics West uh, uh, Congress. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit more about uh, the the conference that I'm chairing, uh, helping chair uh, the AR VR MR. We started in uh, 20, uh, 20, 2018 um, and um, that uh, that had a, a success uh, mainly because it was a, a hot topic, which is still today a hot topic. Uh, uh, it was actually boosted a lot by uh, the pandemic, um, and we saw even through the pandemic uh, a large community growing around. We actually um, tried to grow this community, and we successfully grew this community uh, online during the pandemic through the various uh, fireside chats that we did uh, every single month to grow that community and then to give uh, this uh, this date to that community every single year uh, in January at, uh, at, at at the Moscone Center, where that community that you know, gathered every single month online then uh, can can come and network uh, in real life uh, finally at uh, at ARVR MR. Uh, and this is this is really um, I think SPA did a terrific job there in actually creating a community, creating from an initiative, but creating a community around that uh, that field of AR, VR, MR, uh, and, and uh, growing it online and growing it with that that conference. Uh, today, I think it's going to be the largest. We're going to see the largest attendance. I think uh, we have more than uh, 50, 50 exhibitors just for uh, AR, VR, MR, uh, and. Um, 
we um, installed again all the, the events that we had pre-pandemic, including uh, the optical design uh, challenge. That is a very uh, exciting event for uh, students uh, to share uh, directly and connect directly with industry. It's actually uh, prizes at the end. Uh, there's, um, as I said, an uh, exhibit that is a uh, link to AR VR MR, not exhibits. I really, for, for AR VR MR, are very, very specific. You know, when you look at the at a Trumpf uh, laser cutter, it's very unlikely that you will be able to play with it and cut a few holes in uh, in a piece of glass, right? But with AR, VR, MR, you're going to put these this, this things on your head and you're going to be amazed. And this is one w one reason why, uh, you know, people love that part of the exhibit because it's really, you can really try out these, these devices. Um, uh, and then, of course, we have the industry, uh, the, the invited uh, industry talks, which is a little bit different from our traditional um, technical um, conferences. We have a technical conference and uh, many academic uh, papers will be presented and they result in uh, proceedings. But we also have these two days of uh, invited industry talk, which is a little different, gives a very, very um, uh, needed uh, industry twist to uh, to, to that uh, that event. So you have the traditional um, uh, conference, a lot of uh, academic papers, and then uh, the industry um, uh, on the main stage, the industry uh, uh, invited talks, which are usually uh, quite exciting. All right, great. Uh, looking from both sides, you know, both the exhibits and the, the presentations, anything that that either of you would point out is, you know, can't miss? Well, so uh, we are going to have seven plenary sessions. Uh, one of the later additions is we actually have a presentation from the National Ignition Facility, uh, and they're going to talk about their uh, fusion ignition breakthrough. I think it's the first public presentation uh, from that lab. Uh, we have hot topics for both BIOS and LAYS. So those are short talks uh, invited to have, uh, you know, kind of a look at some of the latest and greatest uh, items. Uh, Bernard talked about AR, VR, MR. That one actually has a lot of, that, that's days of hot topics. And uh, we're going to have uh, probably some, some interesting uh, announcements uh, that you'll be able to hear about at this show. We're going to be announcing our PRISM Awards uh, startup challenge. Probably be an announcement on our community support programs. Really interesting. And, uh, you know, a tip I'd like to give people is uh, we do have a mobile app that uh, schedules everything uh, pretty up to date. Uh, we also have a show daily that people can pick up and it's going to provide highlights through the week. So uh, that's a good way to wake up in the morning and see, you know, what what cool things are going to be happening that day. Yeah, I love the show daily. So that's usually a uh one way that I end my day and start my other day. You know, it's by reading uh, in front of a good cafe and croissant, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this uh, daily, daily news uh, of the conference. Very good initiative. I love it. Great. Can you share some, you know, expectations, hopes, event goals? Uh, well, I can say it's going to be a great event. We uh, right now, you know, we track registration pretty closely, obviously, and uh, the trends right now are tracking uh, 2019 numbers exceptionally well. Uh, we are right on uh, track to having a pre-COVID uh, type of meeting. Uh, there's very little exhibition space uh, left. Last I checked, I think there's maybe a couple tabletops and a booth. So we have sold out uh, all the space in Moscone uh, and expanded into West. And, uh, you know, I, I anticipate a lot of excitement and a lot yeah. of joy because people are going to get to see their colleagues that they haven't seen since, you know, maybe 2020 in some cases. And uh, we're back to we're back to the the new yep. normal. That's that's a good normal. Uh, I would even uh, uh, you know uh, double down on this uh, and say that uh, the optics and photonics community is a very special community, very resilient. Uh, we know that uh, in in the past uh, months, uh, you know, things were not well, you know, were not very easy for a high tech. Uh, uh, we 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 saw all, uh, the, the trillions of dollars of market uh, market losses, and uh, the tens of thousands of uh, jobs lost. Today, I learned that um, Microsoft is uh, is getting rid of uh, ten thousand more employees, and uh, 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 Amazon eight thousand more employees. That's just today. It's not yesterday. It's just today. Uh, 
but but seeing as Ken said, you know, the number of uh, uh, of um, uh, uh, exhibitors and the number of people that are coming to this conference shows that uh, the optics and photonics uh, community is really uh, it's not linked to a, a, a vertical. You know, it's a horizontal platform over which uh, so many different uh, uh, breakthroughs can be uh, and, and, and fields can be can be developed. Um, uh, it, it's AVR is just one one very small one, but uh, you know, think about uh, biomedical, think about uh, a national ignition uh, facility, think about telecom, think about uh, optical. Um, uh, um, I say optical data storage, but that's that's gone. Uh, but but so many other uh, aspects, you know, that uh, that are using optics and photonics as uh, the main en enabler technologies, and I think that's one of the reasons why that community is so resilient when, you know, otherwise we see a horror stories uh, every day, but we don't see any horror story at the, uh, at, at, in, in this, uh, in this uh, fantastic uh, community of optics and photonics. All right, great. Any parting thoughts from each of you? Uh, well, look, I, I would say get a lot of rest now. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, that week in San Francisco is packed. We got conferences, workshops, short courses, at the exhibitions, meetups, lots of receptions. Uh, we also have a SPI membership booth, so stop by and say hi. Uh, Bernard might be by. I'll be around. Uh, it's a chance to see you and uh, tens of thousands of your closest friends. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, uh... I, I'm starting uh, my uh, my week by uh, giving two short courses, so uh, I'm going to be drenched already the, the the first two days. But then right. the real thing starts, right? So uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to take some vitamin C in the morning. Good <laughs> idea. Good idea. All right, wonderful. Thanks again, guys. Look forward to seeing everyone. Okay, thank you, Peter. Thank See you, you there. Up.